Ads. Hello, people viewers. Welcome to Mr. Who Screw News. Today, I'll be in Avatar The Legend of. Sorry, that's not the case of giggles here, but I don't know why. Anyway, uh, Avatar The Legend of Season 3, Episode 15. At sixteen, <laughs> at one rock part two, and the children raiders. I guess the second part of the boy and rock is okay. That's a good the uh, fight sequences and some shocking moments in it, but oh. oh. Uh, damn hour. Anyway, I think they after the first part where suck on the tire's water and the other prisoners again lined up in front of the warden. I don't see usual jail stuff though. One of the prisoners has to be disobedient and the warden has to teach him lessons by kicking him down to the ground. And then the prisoner does Embarrassing the warden, so yeah. Well, what strange is saying is the is a a talking compared for eyes when when a you find out that soccer with the guard that's in that's in the cellar now, for example. It looks. Weird. Like he's, like he's uh, acting goofy or high. I don't know what the anime studio does. Some their characters have just have weird eyes. They're too close together or too far apart or just something. But this, yeah. Oh wow. And you go moment where Sokka tells his dad that you go with him and that he. He might have been uh, suspicious on for us and trust on that, but he, he's starting to think that he's proven himself to be a good person and stuff like that, so it's a sign that Saka is beginning to trust him a little. And uh, they have another plan to kill the warden and use the gondolas to get out, but they need a distraction, and when uh, Saka's or, yeah, when Saka's dad, uh, tries to make a start a prison riot and knock somebody apart, knock somebody across the, somewhere, turns out the guy controls, is trying to control his anger. Okay. Anyway, the guy that escaped from, or tried to escape from last time, he's helping out again, he tried to, try to escape, and he successfully started prison riot, so it's like picking somebody up, Press them, uh, bending them, and saying, Prison Riot! It was that easy. How could not a lot of the prisoners do that and then escape? And the guy that, then according to anger, so that snuffs from my, uh, from my anger. I'm going, let's just have a prison riot. I don't know how. And with Zuko, uh, he'd been sent to this, uh, room where May is waiting. And you know, she's there, that Tyree and Azula is there as well. And he is just headed Zuko off. But he's not happy that he, or just upset that he broke, he broke up with her with a letter. Oh my god. I wonder if that was Dear Zon King. In that world. And he just feels like he, he's betraying their nation and he just feels in a different way. And when the, when the riot is, is, uh, going, uh, one of the guards goes to where Zuko and May are and says he has to catch her since there's a riot. And he just, and the Zuko just, and uh, like, uh, beats up the guard and locks May in the room. And with the, I found that, I'm guessing they think 
you know, the way there's so many men just that, yeah, they enjoy it because I can carry. So, yeah, so, 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 And then, as you go on the, uh, soccer, I just, I agree with that, you go talk, uh, soccer would, would think of the plan to get to the numbers and the, and the warm, but, they didn't. And when Erwin Suki just jumps on everybody's head and, and, and everyone else gets the warden and it's just great uh, uh, animation for it. And just great, great scene to do that. It's just good. So he should be, so be, so be a ninja or something. He's, he's, so he's that good. Anyway, to take the warden to the gun man. It looks like he's gonna get away. But Azula and Tyler get on to the, to the, 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 the top of the gun man and have the fight with Sokka, uh, Yugo and Suki. It's a very good fight with, with Azula and the, uh, you go find with their fire bending and socket how about you go with his sword master skill and tiny and the Suki was fighting with her fists. And it's good scene where Tiny just go through one of the windows in the gondola and threw another one back up to their sides. That is just good. Oh it's just it's just a good 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 effect or something. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's cinematography or, or what. I don't mean, know what the is. Well, 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 well. Anyway, uh, the, the Warren then gives the other people the signal to cut the line. But when they're nearly done, May stops them. Why does you just fight with her, her knife skills? And then captured by the people, and Sokka and the others get away with the general back on the gun and put them, just put them back. And then, uh, Azura just gets mad at me, I was about to firebender, firebender, but then, uh, Tidy just paralyzes her with, her, with punch and try to get me away, but the guy got them, and the girls just put them, so they put them far in the ground where they can see them. And uh, it's at this point that Azula is slowly ascending into madness. Well, not exactly at this point. I think it's at the point where they said that she loves Yuko more than he, that he feared Azula, to, to Azula. I just see some crack in Azula. Like, just something. I don't know what the word is, but some just cracks in her face or her mind when she hears that. Because Azula is a type of person that rules people by fear. Either soldiers, enemies, friends. It's just so calculating that you use Anybody to uh, to any means, even though leave them to death if it was a part of a plan. And it's just good to see that she's gone mad. Because that's when she gets really more goofier and a little more scarier. She's up there with Joker madness when she, when she goes full on nut mode. Anyway, uh, when they escape, Zuko is uh, taking them back to fight Azula, even though they don't have a way out. I don't know, he wasn't taking a fight, he was thinking that if Zuko got here, he must be away, and he just took the airship that he had. Oh, well, it doesn't seem fast, it doesn't seem fast, because usually airships are very slow, like, takes a few days to get somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, they just head back to where team after and this explain what happened and uh, just 
ช่วเราจะจะชอบสำหรับแอปทาร์นชอบฟอร์เซูกิอันดับแรกเฮียจำเกมนะครับคุณเจอเกมอันสุดท้ายสตาร์อันดับสี่ส่วนแบบโอเวอร์โอเคแอปเตอร์แล้วเนาะเห็นยิ่งจะดีเอ็กซ์คิวพาร์เออร์วัดจะสุกบิทเวนแอปอันนี้ยูโกเอร์อิสกูดไม่ได้ทันอุดสตามว่าที่ Betrayed Barney, and you got trying to pull away from breaking up the heart and breaking up heart, and to have to stop with Azula at the end is it gets good payoff near the near the end of the series, but still, like with her friends at the trainer and that. It just now something's gonna happen. I can try to add scare entirely into into Joyner when they start putting together the the elite task force that he was looking for. So <sighs> can't wait to see it again and again and again and again and again. And again. Anyway, Sun Raider picked up. Where uh, the boy and rock left off, but uh, two mountains are still in the Western Air Temple, and then a fire nation airship comes with, with Azula in it, and it's just bombing everywhere. We just know from this that she doesn't consider planning anymore. She just wants total destruction. Team says to. Zuko, when he sees that, when he asks what he's doing, that uh, he's celebrating being an only child, or becoming an only child. Miss Sosa is not even using her head anymore. It's just <laughs> anyway. Well, Zuko is uh, holding off Azula. Team after is is been up with the other people like. Uh, The second third dad and the other people have to get their name right now, and the caramel is a uh, don't really like it, but she has to accept. You know, she has to accept it. And then up there, flies off with a piece of earth in front of him. I had reason that you know because that up there doesn't really like caves. And I'm not gonna explain that, but still, I think what's going to be. Or something, and the fight scene between、uh, Azula and Yoko is good, especially when they both fire them, and it sort of just makes a giant explosion. This it seems like a a, a Michael Bayish explosion. I don't know if if it if it really seems like that or it was made, but still, it's good. It's a good explosion. A little thing that doesn't make sense is when Zuko sees that Azula is falling, he says he's not gonna make it. But when he lands, he says, "Of course he makes he makes it." I don't know if that makes any sense, but still, it's an out of nowhere line. Anyway, Team Azula lands somewhere somewhere now. If it said.、Uh, Amber Island goes over to the next episode. The base was still don't know. And everybody just said, "Graduating Zuko, saying he's the hero of the day and stuff like that." But Terra isn't really that well accepting of him right now. And he just can frustrate that he that he's not really accepting even though everybody else is. And I, 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 why don't you get out? Anyway,、uh, in order to find out what how to help Katara, Sokka visits or、uh, goes to Sokka's tent, where Sokka is lying on his side up with a flower in his mouth. Yeah, that it is, it is as weird as it sounds. 
อันนั้นเองสักเยอะแล้วก็ดอทซิลกับออกแมนอันอินเดียสวีเกตซีว่าฮัตน์เวนเนอร์ซอกเกอร์และแคลมาร์บุสเคลล์วันเดอร์โลเคดและวันเดอร์วิลเลจวุฒิเดย์วุฒิสกูคือคิดกองบักบักอันนี้กองบักเลยสี่ครั้งเดบซอลด์วันฟุตซอกเกอร์วันฟุตกาตาร์และวันฟุตจุดกอยเคลล์ที่มอร์ So it's good. And when you go for the L, he tells her that he uh, he know that where to find the information that she's looking for to get to the god of killer mother. And that's the point that we get to see Kurt's dark side. Like again, when Anne tries to get her to understand that he does get why he needs to do this. Like yes, I I could could be borrow could be up like could be borrow up it. And he doing his plan to me. He want to do at first because as you said, every every one agree that then is the only way to get to some get to game. Yeah, no, he's never right, but still. And here's a low bro, a blow to. to Soccer, where he said that he didn't love their mother as much as she did. That is a wow, like family jewels, wow. And when she tries to sneak off it up in the night, if she wasn't that, how come she asked? Ugh. And. And said that he does understand, but, and he will let do this, but to not like the, the rage controller and do something like regret. At, at that this point, at that Katara has her own field trip with Zuko. <laughs> I think maybe everybody's having a field trip with Zuko in the season. The funny one that we talk, so I get to that one. I get to that. That's the funny answer. I love the type of. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, Karen Hugo just fly off from the office while wearing some ninja gear. Don't know why. And when I get to the base where, uh, where, uh, the Jordan Raiders are, it turns out that the guy retired. But before they found out that, Her blow bed the guy. I thought he got get how he how he did it. Here is the the woman say that he got to do it in a full moon. Is Kara strong enough to do it any time? What? Oh no! But even though he got the guy, they find out where he is. And he's just a a gardener or something that lives with his mother. Um, when they uh, when they get to the guy, like right in front of him, Carrot just 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 gets all angry and that, and just saying, oh, just like saying that the her mother protected black war banner with his car. I just war bands the rain. I make it into like a ten different knives or something. It looks just so cool, and the guy is just clean the despair him, and if you, and it's one thing to even take his mother, and Kara just shames him by saying that that he that uh, he's nothing. That's the reason he kills his mother. He has nothing inside, and, and he's just pathetic. And they just leave with the guy on the ground crying. Ugh. And even though he got her therapy on this, he hasn't really forgiven the guy. He got a little bit over it, but I'm forgiven. But on the bright side. 
dad to get he had to give him Suko and trust him a little bit. And then just goes off. And the think that's all ends is Suko asking the question that every else will be asking in episode 18 or all to the end. If I don't believe the violence in Xander, then what is he gonna do about the Fire Lord? This episode is great. You get to see Paris' dark side in this, we don't really see that much. So over here, you get angry at, at sometimes. But this feels really considering at the, at the beginning, taking out the guy that killed her mother. You don't really see that from the car from the, from the first two seasons, the first two episodes of this. But you see the one that calms down Ang and he gets to the after state when he's angry. Or hooks out whatever. See you need the voice of reason. And when the person that's the voice of reason in their group starts on their dark sides, you just know something is gonna happen. So I'm sure we kind of knew that he wasn't gonna kill him. I think I see it's a voice of reason and she's like the soul of the group or something. So it, it, it's a good episode. It's actually one of the best. And it, it just uh, shows that you have randomly solve everything and even though you might get over the, a trauma from your past caused by someone, you might always forgive that person. I might not not trying to get the well, but there you go. Anyway, I give this episode a 10 out of 10. This is just a brilliant episode. Brilliant! Anyway, next week, came out there to go to the theater. See a play about themselves, and it's the beginning of the end with Sun's comic about to arrive, and Yugo dropping some news that he sort of dropped when he first became a member of, of the team, or a few episodes before episode 18. But <laughs> and Ang is just going to a spiritual. Journey through himself. Well, I guess that's what made my people. Still. Anyway, until that time, I'm Mr. Who. I'll see you later.